Is Israel planning to turn Gaza into a high-tech concentration camp? According to this report, the answer is yes. Israel is reportedly considering a plan to deploy operatives from private U.S. security companies to monitor and control gated communities of Palestinians in Gaza, with a pilot program expected to start in as little as two months. The plan is the brainchild of Israeli-American businessman Mordechai Kahana. Kahana's idea? Round up Palestinians into gated communities where they must pass biometric screenings to access essential aid like food and water, a.k.a concentration camps. Kahana's company, which he describes as Uber for war zones, essentially wants to control aid distribution in Gaza by using private U.S. security forces. One of the companies he plans to partner with is Constellus, the successor to Blackwater. You might recognize the name Blackwater from the company's involvement in a number of grave human rights violations. In 2007, a Blackwater convoy opened fire on civilians in Nisour Square, central Baghdad. It was indiscriminate, killing 17 and wounding 18 others. Kahana is pitching his dystopian high-tech concentration camps as a humanitarian project to help innocent Palestinians in Gaza access aid. But one look into his public profiles show that he has no interest in helping Palestinians. Kahana once tweeted that anyone who might fail the biometric screenings required to enter his gated communities would be labeled a terrorist and, quote, get a bullet. Kahana has even joked on Twitter about ethnically cleansing Gaza and moving its population to Jordan. And he's also called the only sitting Palestinian member of Congress a, quote, Hamas ambassador. And while it's clear that Kahana is desperate to profit off of the genocide in Gaza, the fact that the Israeli government is reportedly considering the pitch or other plans like it is extremely concerning. These discussions confirm that Israel is planning to maintain a permanent presence on the ground in Gaza indefinitely. It also means that Israel is looking for other avenues to evade accountability for its crimes, in this case by using private security firms to carry out its dirty work. This is all happening as the Israeli military is actively starving Palestinians and carrying out an ethnic cleansing campaign in northern Gaza, while promoting ideas of Jewish settlement in the Strip. Talks of humanitarian bubbles and gated communities are being portrayed as solutions to the problem of what to do with Gaza. But in reality, they reveal the lengths to which Israel will go to dehumanize and control Palestinians, even if it means repeating the horrors of the past. 